All right, so we got a question here from God himself. So when you have a Twitcher game that requires people to type out a response, how do you get that response to appear on screen? Like if someone types in big, big boogers, I'd like to get it appear on screen. Try to make something special. So here's how you would do this if you were using something like StreamerBot. So I'll give you an example. Let's pull up Twitch chat. So we're gonna go Twitch, nutty chat. All right, so here we are. So you, you got a chat window up here, right? And you know how in like in the thing here for channel points, like some of your channel points, you didn't just redeem them, but some of them, you have an option to like type out text. So what God is asking is like, if you type it out, how do you like have that text appear on screen? So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now, right? Start to finish, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go OBS, we're gonna add a text source. Text, we're gonna call it uh, just like whatever, words, whatever the text source is. And it'll just put placeholder text here for now, right? It doesn't really matter what's here. Uh, let's make it a little bit smaller. So you got placeholder text up here, right? So our goal is to like make that placeholder text be replaced with like the channel point redemption stuff. So we're gonna like create a new channel point redemption uh, go to platforms, channel point rewards, you know, right click, and we're just gonna add a new redemption. And we're gonna call it like a test reward. And then we'll input user input re required, which means they have to like type the message out. So we're gonna put that in there. Um, and then we'll have to add an action for this in a second, but we'll leave this for now. So just press okay. And then uh, I'll disable this so you guys don't redeem it yet because it's not ready. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna add an action. We're gonna go over here. We'll use our uh, test action. Just pretend this area was empty, okay? I disabled both of these. Don't worry about what the, both these things are. Pretend they don't exist. I disabled both of them, so like, it's not gonna do anything. Um, so what we are gonna do is we're gonna add some stuff in here, right? We're going to go OBS sets uh, text something, sets GDI text. So what this is gonna do is it's going to change the text that's in this text source here. And uh, we're gonna change the text to something, okay? Um, I'll show you what this does in a second. Press okay. And then now uh, if we go to Twitch chat again, and I'm going to enable, let's go back to platforms. Let's enable this channel point reward, unpause it, go here and we'll recall, we'll call this text thingy here and say Coomer. And that should have done nothing because um, I'm stupid, I forgot. <laughs> uh, you have to go to test reward here, edit. I forgot to connect the action. So you have to go down here, action. So this is what actually gets called. And we'll go to that test command that we made, so test. So this is gonna call this action here that says test, right? It's gonna run this command here that's gonna change the text. Um, and you can see like people redeemed it right now. It 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 worked, people redeemed it, but it just says something. It doesn't say what they actually wrote out. So how do you get it to show what they actually wrote out? So if you go to actions and action history, this is the cool part. This is, this is a cool part. Let's filter this by test. Oops, and then apply. So if we right click test, so this action history shows like all the actions that people have been running. Uh, so you, you can right click it and say inspect variables. So this window is like super cool, okay? Um, it shows you like a whole bunch of stuff or data that you can use. Um, and one of the cool bits of data here is a thing here that says raw input, which contains like what the person typed out. So if you like just copy this thing here that says raw input, just control C, close this out, go back to actions. And then over here, like where we change the words to say something, if you say percentage, percentage, and in between, you can put the name of a variable. And in this case, our variable is called raw input. It's going to like, instead of saying something, it's gonna say whatever is in that raw input variable. So if we press okay now, now when people redeem it, someone redeem it, 
it should show exactly what they typed. You guys gonna do it? It's grapes. Yeah, more boogers. No way, dude. Aloha. So yeah, that's clear, clear. Bum hole. So yeah, that's how you do it. Um, I hope that helped you guys. I was I went like into uh, as much excessive detail as possible. So uh, if that seemed a bit more complicated than it really is, really all you need to do is like add an action inside your action here. Uh, just use raw input with the percentage signs. And if you want, you can put stuff before it too. You can say like, um, hello, colon. Um, and it'll say hello before every message. So you press okay here. Someone do it again. Come on now. Do it. Someone do it. Write something. Can you guys hurry up? Yeah, there's this hell it says hello. Um So anyway, uh, I'm probably gonna put this on the VODs channel so other people can look at it later. But if you enjoyed, that's pretty cool. Uh yeah, go sub to the main YouTube channel if you're not already. Uh oh yeah, and, and go uh give me money on Patreon, yeah? I make like sick widgets that you guys can download and play with and add to your stream. It's sick. Plus, you get to give me money, which is awesome. Cause then I could afford uh like pasta and stuff when I'm hungry. Thanks for watching.